And we are your children, we've gathered here today. We've gathered here, we've gathered here to pray. Hear our cry, and we need your mercy, and we need your grace today. Here is as we pray, lifting both your hands. Our Father, lifting your hands, who art in heaven, hallowed be. Thy name, our Father, hear us from heaven, give us this, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. from heaven forgive our sins we pray you're a song you're a song as it rises to heaven may your glory fill the earth as the waters cover the sea, see our hearts and remove anything that is standing in the way of coming to you, of coming to you today, reaching out.
Let us sing a new song today. That the love of God may descend on us and bring healing and changes and transformation. and the grip of evil over our lives today. Let us reach out to stand in the midst of every storm to rejoice in His love. We stand and lift up our hands, lift your hand. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down. We bow down and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He! Holy is the Lord, and we stand to lift our hands to Him, to lift our lives and rejoice. We stand and lift up our hands for the joy of the Lord. Lord is our strength. We bow down and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He. Together we sing. Everyone sing. Lifting your hands. Holy is the Lord. The earth is filled with your glory Holy is the Lord God Almighty The earth is filled with His glory The earth is filled with His glory Holy is the Lord the Lord God Almighty the earth is filled 
filled with His glory. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord. It's rising up. It's rising up. All around is the anthem of the Lord's renown. It's rising up. The Lord's renowned. Together we sing. Everyone sing. Everyone sing. Crying out to the Lord. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord. His glory, the earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord. Let us worship Him. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You will see the glory. The Lord tells us, you will see the Son of Man coming with all His angels. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawn. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Let's bless them together. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, I worship this holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship your holy name. He's rich in love and he's slow to anger and his name is great and his heart is kind this is our God from whom all goodness flows and we will keep on singing ten thousand years and then forevermore of his greatness he's rich in love you're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find blessing. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. I worship Your holy name. And on that day when 
my strength is failing The end draws near and my time has come Still my soul would sing your praise unending Ten thousand years and then forevermore Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul I worship His Worship your holy name. Worship you, Lord. Worship your holy name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All that we are, all that we need. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God is blessing at this time as you are worshipping. Let your tongue move today. Let the power of God today rest upon your entire being as you lift yourselves to worship, to honor Him, to love Him, desire Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Gives. He is all goodness and we cannot but praise Him. All the days of eternity will never be enough to praise our God as we experience His greatness. Heaven does not cease to praise Him. You rich in love and your soul to anger your name is great and your heart is kind for all your goodness I will keep on singing ten thousand reasons for my heart to find the sun up. It's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Once again, let us lift our future to the Lord and bless Him. 
Let us lift these present moments that God has given us and bless Him. Great are the blessings we receive, the psalmist tells us. Psalm 103. We are healed of our diseases. Our transgressions are removed. God blesses us with goodness all the days of our life. He redeems us from the pit. And He crowns us with mercy. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship You. Worship your holy name. Let's give them all the glory today. You deserve the glory and the honor, Lord. Be We lift your holy name You deserve the glory And the honor Lord, we lift your hands and worship As we lift your holy name For you are great You do miracles so great There is no one else like you there is no one else like you, for you were great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. We shall stand up and worship Him. We shall lift up our entire future, our lives, into His hands and proclaim. How great is our God, you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we lift your Holy name, for you were great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, for you were great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you. forget who we are. Let's forget ourselves as we worship the Lord. He comes to redeem His people. He comes to gather us as a hen would gather a brood. Jesus 
You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands and worship as we lift your holy name. For you were great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you were great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no. grateful heart today God is healing us God is changing everything for our good today as we lift up our lives to him he doesn't hold back anything and we tell him Lord you are worthy to receive all our love hallelujah how glorious are you O oh God thank you Jesus thank you Lord Look inside the mystery See the empty cross See the risen Savior Victorious and strong No one else above Him None are strong to say he alone has conquered the power of the grave. Lifting your hand, glory, my eyes are seeing the glory of the Lord. Glory. He stands above the rulers of the earth. Glory, glory, Lord, you are glory. Sisters and brothers, wherever Jesus went, there was a crowd around him. But there's something very significant. It is not the crowd that Jesus looked at. Jesus looked at the individuals. The individuals who turned to him in faith. The individuals who were sick and sinful and broken. They turned to Jesus with great faith and the power of compassion flowed out of Jesus to heal every one of them. We find Bartimaeus in the midst of a crowd in the marketplace of Jericho. Jesus was passing by and Bartimaeus was sitting by the side of the road, a poor beggar, blind. 
and someone told him jesus of nazareth is passing by and bartimaeus got up and began to cry aloud jesus son of david have mercy on me the people around him dissuaded bartimaeus what are you doing shouting out for jesus to hear you how can jesus hear you look at the crowd the bustle the noise made all around you keep quiet but bartimaeus refused to keep quiet he cried out all the more jesus son of david have mercy on me and the gospel tells us Jesus heard his voice his cry and Jesus called him call him Jesus said but then how could Jesus hear the cry of Bartimaeus the psalmist tells us Psalm 34 God is always attentive to the cries of the poor and again the psalmist tells us this poor man cried and god heard him god heard him and jesus asked him what do you want me to do for you once again bartimaeus cried aloud master i want to see and jesus immediately responded let your eyes be open and bartimaeus was able to see his eyes were opened there could be my brothers and sisters here about him the doctors have given a verdict your eyes are losing the sight your eyes are sick you will not be able to see much whatever verdict the doctors have given today jesus has a different verdict about your eyes and the verdict of jesus is let your eyes be opened and that's the verdict we want to hear today from the lips of jesus jesus is coming for every one of us and what is needed is to trust in him a young man in the synagogue he was having a problem his withered right hand what does it mean the right hand is withered as soon as jesus saw him jesus understood what it meant the right hand withered he could not work he could not earn a living he could not marry he could not have a family his future is dried up and jesus wanted to heal him but jesus was not permitted to heal him because of the law of sabbath as the way this law was interpreted in those days on the sabbath a healing was prohibited So Jesus knew by law he was not permitted to heal this poor man but Jesus wanted to heal him he knew the pharisees and scribes were waiting with questions Jesus asked them what is to be done on the sabbath to do good or to do evil to destroy life or to save it what did Jesus mean not to heal not to heal this poor man would be to destroy him jesus could not be indifferent to the pain to the misery of this man but jesus knew if he healed him the life of jesus would be in danger those who broke the sabbath in public would be stoned to death in those days that was the punishment 
Jesus had two options before him. To leave him alone and to keep his own life. Or to give him life and put his own life in danger. But Jesus opted second option. Jesus wanted to give him life. Jesus said to him, stretch your hand out to me. And he stretched his hand out and he was healed. Immediately, the gospel tells us the Pharisees and the Herodians went out to take counsel against Jesus. The first time, there was a plot against Jesus, against his life, when he healed this poor man. But then, this is revelation. This is revelation. What God is. But God is concerned all the time. The Lord is concerned all the time with you and me, with our pain. Your pain, my brother, my sister, is the concern of Jesus. Your problem is the concern of Jesus. Your misery is the concern of Jesus. And he wants to intervene miraculously to save, to heal. But only one thing Jesus would ask of us. Jesus would not ask us how long we were suffering from this problem. He will not ask us how critical the problem is. The only one question Jesus would ask us is this. Do you believe I can heal you? To believe means to put our trust in him. To believe means to look at Jesus as the Lord and Savior, to believe means my God loves me. My God cares for me. My God is there for me. At the moment of my problem, let us trust in him. Jesus is coming to us in the form of bread. A very humble form Jesus has taken in Bethlehem Jesus took the form of man. That human form Jesus offered on the cross for our salvation to make sure that none of us are lost, none of us should perish. But then, before that, Jesus invented another form, another visible form to stay with us, the form of bread. That's what Jesus said during Last Supper. He took the bread and said, This is my body to be broken for you. The form of broken bread. That's the form Jesus wanted to stay us with. We want to see the Eucharistic bread today. And we want to confess, to proclaim, It is the Lord. When Jesus appeared after the resurrection on the seashore and the disciples were fishing in the Sea of Galilee, it was John who said, it is the Lord. The faith of John, the love of John enabled him to understand that. We want to proclaim Jesus is the Lord, is our Savior. Nothing is impossible to him. Through prophet Jeremiah, God asked us, Jeremiah 32, chapter 32, verse 27, Am I not the Lord of all the flesh? Am I not the Lord of all the flesh? Is anything impossible for me? A question Jesus is asking everyone sick today. Is anything impossible for me? Nothing is impossible to our God. Since he's a caring God, loving Lord, he will do it for us. Let us offer to him every ailment we are suffering from. Let us offer to him every problem in our health. And the Lord will understand what we are going through because of our sickness. Let's all kneel down, those of you who can. Let us welcome Jesus. Welcome Jesus into our midst. Let's welcome him and offer to him everything going wrong with our life. 
perhaps with our health, everything going wrong with our family, all the conflicts in our family. There are parents here very anxious about their children, all their anxiety and fear we want to offer to the Lord. The Lord cares. The Lord cares for the pain of your body and the pain of your heart. Let us offer all that pain to Him and worship Him and surrender a life to Him. Bend the knees I come With a humble heart I come Bowing down before your holy throne Lifting holy hands to you As I pledge my life anew I worship you in spirit I worship you in truth Make my life a holy praise unto you On bended knees I come With a humble heart I come Bowing down before your holy throne as I look upon your face Show your mercy and your grace Change my life for Holy Spirit Make me fresh and ever new Make my life a holy sacrifice to you Make my life a holy sacrifice to you Bend the knees I come With a humble heart I come Bowing down before your holy throne Lifting holy hands to you As I pledge my love anew I worship you in spirit I worship you in truth Make my life a holy praise unto you On bend the knees I come With a humble heart I come Bowing down before your holy throne As I look upon your faith, show your mercy and your grace, the life of Holy Spirit, make me fresh and ever new, make my life a holy sacrifice to you, make my life a holy sacrifice to you. Make my life a holy sacrifice to heal me. Praise you, Jesus. We worship you. We, we offer our life as a holy sacrifice to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, O oh God. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We trust in your mercy and power. We believe in your compassion. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Praise you. We offer our life as a holy sacrifice to the Lord. We are here to offer a sacrifice this morning. And every sacrifice needs an offering to be given to God. And this morning, 
the one offering we want to give to god is the bundle of our pain the bundle of our suffering the bundle of our anxiety and fear that bundle weighing heavily on us that's the bundle we want to offer as a sacrifice to the lord and that is what jesus came to take from us 800 years before the coming of jesus god sent prophet isaiah the prophet said the savior is coming and he will take upon himself our pain and our sin to things we are helpless about a pain and our sin that's what jesus came to take upon himself and jesus said i'm come as a physician as a physician there is a sick who need a physician he said i'm come as a physician to him we want to offer to him all the pain all the suffering all the disability of our body and mind let us all stand up in the presence of the lord and let us look at him let's tell him how much we believe in him telma alvin joseph antonio kevin felix the lord is asking you do you believe i can heal you the question jesus asked the leper do you believe i can heal you a leper would have never believed jesus would heal him because leprosy was considered a sickness a curse of god that nobody could take away and yet jesus asked him do you believe i can heal you this man replied master i believe help my unbelief this is a answer to jesus this morning i believe lord i believe and yet i understand there is unbelief in my heart i surrender that unbelief as well but i believe i want to believe you are healing me you are taking away the pain of my body the burden of my life let's all sing together believing putting our trust in the lord believing nothing is impossible to our god a god is come today to heal us to take a pain away from our body and our heart and our life let's tell him jesus i believe If only you say a word I believe Lord I believe help my unbelief you can heal me now if only you say a word You are the Lord that healed me you are the Lord that saved me and you my bones will rejoice you are the lord that healed me you are the lord that saved me and you my heart will be forever more i believe lord i believe help my unbelief you can heal me now if only you 
you say a word I believe Lord I believe help my unbelief you can heal you can heal me now if only you say only you say the word I'm tired I have no zeal at all I'm sick why do I live at all but I want to live for you oh Lord I'm sad there seems no joy at all I'm weak I have no strength at all the life's flowing in to me I believe Lord I believe help my unbelief you can heal me now if only you say a word I believe Lord I believe I believe help my unbelief help my unbelief you can heal me you now. can heal me now if only you say you the word, say the word. You are the Lord that changes me You are the Lord that cleanses me For you my heart will bring joy You are the Lord that changes me You are the Lord that cleanses me For you my heart will bring joy I believe, Lord, I believe I believe Help my unbelief Help my unbelief You can Help my unbelief. You can heal me now. You can heal me now. If only you say a word. You say the word. If only you say a word. Oh, Jesus. If only you say Praise a word. Praise you, Jesus. I believe, Lord, I believe. I believe. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. You can heal me now. If only you, you say, say the word. word. If only you say a word Jesus If only you say If only you say the word Hallelujah Praise Hallelujah. Jesus we bless you We thank you Lord Jesus we praise you We adore you Jesus we surrender We surrender all our pain to you Praise you Jesus thank you Lord Praise you Jesus thank you Lord Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise you. Please be seated. Let me read for you from the gospel. According to Matthew chapter 8, verses 5 to 13. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. Centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man of authority with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come here, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel I have found such faith. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west at the banquet of the kingdom of heaven, but the children of the kingdom will be driven out into the outer darkness where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. And Jesus said to the centurion, you may go. As you have believed, let it be done for you. 
and at that very hour his servant was healed the gospel of the lord my dear sisters and brothers amazing faith that's what jesus said about the centurion's faith jesus was amazed at the faith of the centurion what was so amazing about the faith of the centurion for one thing he was a centurion and therefore he was not a jew he did not know anything about the promises of the messiah in the old testament in the jewish tradition he was a pagan so to say a roman citizen second thing as a centurion he had 100 soldiers under him that's why he's known as centurion and therefore he was in charge of the law and order situation in kafanam and he knows what authority is he said i have slaves under me to when i say go and he goes another to do this he does it to another come here and he comes i know what authority is in fact the roman empire was built on the concept of authority and obedience the strength of the roman civilization roman empire and caesar was on top they were the senators and congressmen and then the governors and centurions that's how that structure went in those days there was an edict from rome that the caesar the emperor of rome was to be called dominus deus the lord and god only the caesar was to be called the lord and god and nobody else because caesar claimed i have authority over everyone in the world those days the world meant the roman world and therefore i am the lord i am the god and the roman citizens when they met each other they greeted each other dominus deus lord god caesar caesar dominus deus caesar the lord and god and this centurion had the command to put that into practice in kavanam that everyone called caesar as the lord and god nobody else shall be called lord and god but the centurion believed not caesar no jesus is the lord and god and therefore he comes to jesus and addresses him lord for centurion that meant an affirmation of faith in jesus lord he called him lord twice lord my servant is suffering dreadfully of paralysis at home and jesus offered to go to his house and heal the servant and the centurion said lord i am not worthy that you enter into my house but why you need not come into my house you have authority over the paralysis of my servant you just say a word of healing my servant will be healed because i know what authority is you have authority over the pain the body of my servant say the word that paralysis will obey and that's why jesus said amazing faith and jesus said to him let it happen to you as you believed my dear sisters and brothers whatever you are suffering from your cancer your pain of spondylosis 
your arthritis, your pain and stiffness of the joints, the problems of your inner glands, whatever health problem you were suffering from. We believe Jesus has authority and we want to tell Jesus, I need you to exercise your authority over me. And Jesus said it, all authority in heaven and on earth is given to me. Then Jesus said to the apostles, go and pray for the sick and the sick will be healed. And today, we want to tell the Lord, you have authority. You are the son of God who has come to save, to heal, to comfort, to forgive. You have authority. I believe this. We want to put our trust in the Lord. We want to believe in him and offer to him all the sickness of our body. Noya, Reuben, Mariam, Josephine, the Lord is telling you, I, I am the Lord that healeth thee, what God said centuries ago, telling us who God is. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Believe this. Some names Jesus takes. But the message is for everyone. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Let us look at Jesus. Let us look at Jesus. Let us offer to him all the pain of our body. All the struggle that we are having. In our health, let's all stand up. Let's tell him, singing together, Jesus, have your way. Jesus, have your way. The way of Jesus. Whenever any sick person came to him, the way of Jesus was the way of healing, the way of compassion, the way of mercy. And that's what we want Jesus to have in our health problem. And we want to put our trust in him and tell him, Jesus, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Holy Spirit.
as we wait, as we pray, we wait on you. As we pray, we pray to you. Speak your word, speak your word into our hearts and have your way. Speak your word. Speak your word and have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, we bless you. We worship you, O oh Lord. We adore you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Valerian, Sona, Oliver, Claire. The Lord is telling you, it is I. Don't be afraid. You are facing problems in your life. The disciples were facing the raging wind and roaring waves in the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus came walking on the wave. And the disciples were frightened. But Jesus told them, it is I. Don't be afraid. The Lord is coming to you, my brother, my sister. In the midst of all your problems, the Lord is coming to you. To hold you close to Him and to save you. Hold on to God. Hold on to the Lord. The Lord will heal you and fill your heart with His love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Two couples unable to bear children. They have not been able to have that grace from God so far. Jesus is healing and giving them the grace of a child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Someone here who has come to pray for a relative at home having cancer. That relative is touched by the healing power of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Please be seated. Let's pray for each other. That's what Jesus wants. Jesus wants us to pray for each other. And Jesus said it. In my name, lay your hand on the sick and pray. And the promise, the sick will be healed. We want to claim that promise from the Lord this morning. And pray for each other. Those of you having a problem of the back, a severe backache, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. Those of you having a problem of the back, a severe backache, could you please stand up? Those having a problem of the back, we want to pray for you. That God's mercy may come upon your back. God's healing power may flow down your back and heal you. Those of you having a problem 
of the neck pain spondylosis a problem of the pain of the shoulders could you please stand up we want to pray for you we want to pray that god's mercy may descend upon you those of you having a problem of the skin could you please stand up we want to pray for you that the mercy of the lord may descend upon you and heal you god's healing power is truly coming down upon us this morning as we are in the presence of our god a god wants to make it clear to every one of us that we are dear to him and our pain is his loving concern he wants to heal us those so who are having the problem of diabetes could you please stand up we want to pray for you those who are standing please continue standing those who are having the problem of diabetes could you please stand up we want to pray for you and now those of you standing up and those of you sitting down reach your hand out and touch one sick person touch one sick person we want to pray for the sick we want to pray for everyone sick with the concern of our god he is concerned about your pain your sickness with that concern in our hearts we want to pray in the name and authority of the lord when you feel the touch of your brother of your sister feel it is the nail pierced hand of jesus that is touching you and when you touch a sick person believe you are touching in the name and authority of the lord let us pray that god's mercy god's mercy may come down upon everyone standing up now healing them hallelujah hallelujah We praise you Jesus we thank you Lord thank you Lord we trust in your mercy and power we believe in your compassion O God Jesus master Jesus savior we believe in you O God Jesus you say the word thank you say the word thank you Lord I shall be healed. You say the word, every one of my brothers and sisters will be healed. Your word of authority. Jesus, your word of compassion, your word of compassion and mercy shall come down upon every one of us here. We believe, oh God, we believe. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All my brothers and sisters now standing up before you. Lord we offer you for your power for your healing power to come down upon them praise you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah praise you Jesus thank you Lord you may remove your hands and please be seated to so we having a pain and stiffness of arthritis could you please stand up we want to pray for you and to so we having a problem of my green headache could you please stand up we want to pray that god's mercy may descend upon you and heal you and also we having a problem of the knee joints could you please stand up we want to pray for you we want to pray that god's mercy and power may descend upon you and also we having a problem of the eyes could you please stand up those of you having a problem of the eyes could you please stand up we want to pray for you jesus who healed the eyes of the blind will heal you now those of you having a problem of hearing could you please stand up and those of you having a chronic problem of your stomach hyperacidity or in digestion could you please stand up we want to pray for you that god's mercy now may descend upon everyone everyone standing up 
everyone standing up and everyone sitting down reach your hand out and touch reach your hand out and touch one person standing up touch our touch in the name and power of jesus our touch will heal praise you jesus because it is jesus, jesus touching you my brother Hallelujah. my sister it's jesus Hallelujah. touching you now the healer the healer Hallelujah. is touching you Hallelujah. it is the power of the lord Hallelujah. that is descending Praising upon Jesus, every one of us here, praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you. We adore you, Lord Jesus. We trust in your mercy, Lord. Jesus. We believe in your power, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us all now stand up. We want to tell the Lord, Lord, if you want, you can heal me. If you want, you can heal me. And that is an affirmation of our faith, our faith in the Lord. If you want, you can heal me. For you, Jesus, our word. your word of power descending into my body will heal me if you want you can heal me if you want you can heal me oh if you want you can heal me oh i believe in I believe in your love. I believe in your power. I believe in your power. Jesus Lord, I know you care for me. If you want you can heal me alone. If you want you can heal me alone. Jesus I believe in you I believe in your love I believe in you Jesus Jesus Lord I know you care for me You care for me Jesus Lord I know you I know you care for me Just say a word and I shall Say a, say a word and I shall I shall be, be healed. healed I am tired I'm tired Lord. I am sad I'm sad Give me rest Give me rest at thy feet at thy feet Give me rest my master at thy feet Just say a word and I shall be healed. I shall be healed. Just say a word and I shall be healed. I shall be healed. I'm tired of all. I'm sad of all. I'm sad. Give me rest, my master.
I know you care for me Jesus Lord I know you care for me Hallelujah Praise you Jesus We believe in your power We believe in your compassion I know Jesus you care for me Praise you Jesus Thank you Lord We trust in your love and compassion Lord Praise you Jesus Thank you Jesus Oh Lord we trust in you praise you Jesus thank you thank you Jesus praise you Lord hallelujah 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 praise you Jesus thank you Lord please be seated my dear sisters and brothers some of you stood up when i asked those having a backache please stand up could you please stand up once again those of you stood up for having the backache could you please stand up once again because of your backache naturally you could not bend forward the back was hurting you could not bend forward but now take the name of jesus on your lips take the name of jesus on your lips in the name of the lord bend forward bend forward as low as you can bend forward as low as you can we want to experience god's power in our back in our body we want to experience how the lord has healed us and if if when you bend forward your back is not hurting your back is not hurting when you bend forward that means your back ache the lord has taken away the lord has healed if you can testify please come forward please come forward if you can testify of your healing what god has done for you come forward to praise and thank the lord if you can testify that your back ache the lord has healed please come forward turn to the altar if anybody else can feel your back ache is healed could you please come forward others may be seated and when i asked you about the pain of spondylosis the pain of the neck pain of the shoulders some of you stood up could you please stand up once again could you please stand up once again and because of the pain of your of your of your neck and of the shoulders you could not raise your arms up naturally but now raise your arms up in the name of the lord raise your arms up in the name of the lord those standing up raise your arms up as high as you can both the arms raise your arms up as high as you can but when you raise the arms up now there's no pain you don't feel that pain anymore on your neck on your shoulders and that means you are healed if you can testify please come forward if you can testify your pain is healed could you please come forward your pain of your shoulders the lord has taken away if you can testify please come forward to your to tell the lord thank you for the healing the lord has given to you if uh, your shoulders and your neck not paining even when you raised your arms up if you can say if you can say that pain is gone you may come forward to praise and thank the lord and the others may be seated some of you you had a problem with your knee joints with your knee joints those of you stood up could you please stand up once again your knee joints were giving you trouble your knee joints were hurting and now in the name of jesus bend your knee joints bend your knee joints and flex your knee joints bend it forward and backward and see that your pain of the knee joints the lord has taken away if you can testify please come forward that pain is not there anymore when you bend your knee joints there's no pain anymore if you can testify please come forward to praise and thank the lord let's clap our hands and praise our god let's clap our hands and praise our god for what god is doing for what god is doing for us those of you those of you felt any other healing any other healing could you please come forward to praise and thank the lord 
any other healing in your body could you please come forward let's clap our hands and praise our god for what god is doing for what god is doing for us my dear sisters and brothers there is a gospel record and the gospel record is this no sick person who came to jesus went back sick every sick person who came to jesus felt the power the power of the lord descending into their body and healing them it's a gospel record and all of us are healed but it takes some time perhaps for that healing to be manifested and therefore from now onwards we will not ask the lord to heal us rather we will praise him we will thank him for the healing and the more we praise him the earlier we will be able to experience that power the more we praise him the better we will be able to experience that power of healing coming from the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you now jesus. let's all kneel down let us receive the blessing of the lord the lord is blessing every one of us now a god's power we have experienced and we will continue to experience we will wait for the lord's blessing for every one of us we adore you oh god we exalt you we praise you we thank you we worship lord jesus hallelujah 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 sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment, moment.